evening. I'm Dan Wolf. Laura's off tonight. Thanks for joining us. It has been a long time since there's been this much interest in Duluth's race for mayor. It is technically nonpartisan, but two well-known DFLers are doing battle and raising a lot of money in the process. The results are in on this primary night for the most part. Here's our first glimpse at where voters stand in the city of Duluth, with 97% of precincts now reporting it is a very good night for Roger Reiner, the former DFL state senator, with 62% of the vote, incumbent Mayor Emily Larson with 35%. And there are five total candidates in the race, and as expected, Reiner and Larson will now move on to the general election in November. A little more about these two. Reiner is a former Duluth City Councilor, State Senator, and Interim Executive Director of the DEC. He also deployed to Afghanistan for a year, serving as Lieutenant Commander in the U.S. Navy Reserve. He actually endorsed Larson in her initial run for mayor. Now he's looking to end her time at City Hall. Larson is also a former Duluth City Councilor and has served two terms as mayor, winning both previous elections by a wide margin. She is the DFL endorsed candidate and received an endorsement from Minnesota Governor Tim Walls actually late last night. Now we have team coverage for you tonight with reporters at watch parties of both candidates. Our Cara Cop is with Roger Reinert's team, but we begin with Natalie Hetner, who's with the mayor. Natalie, what's the mood like there tonight? Yeah, Dan, I'm here at Wild State Cider. This is where Mayor Emily Larson was supposed to be watching those votes come in. Now, we did talk to her people earlier about setting up an interview tonight, but she is a no-show. We are at the Duluth DFL watch party where other council candidates are doing well themselves, so the joy is light and uphearted here. But if we do hear from Mayor Larson or her campaign, we'll be sure to bring you that update on air and online at Northern News Now. But first, I'll send it back to you in studio, Dan. All right, Natalie Hebner live for us at Wild State Cider. Thank you, Natalie. Now we head over to Cara Kopp, who's with Roger Reinert and his team uh, of supporters over at Warrior Brewing. Cara, I'd imagine some happy folks over there. Yeah, Dan, here at Warrior Brewing, people have been gathering to watch the results come in alongside mayoral candidate Roger Reinert, who is with me right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell me, yeah. what has your reaction been to seeing the results tonight? Yeah. Well, obviously, we're absolutely thrilled to see the numbers come in. Um, to be in the 60 percentile, I think we have one precinct that's still outstanding. I mean, that's really reaffirming. It's also not super surprising. I mean, we've been at this for seven months, and we've been out there just having conversations with Duluthians about the really basic issues that they're concerned about in the community, and um, and, and I'm thrilled to have that uh, have Duluthians respond to that. And your campaign has been a call to change the way the city approaches major public issues. Do you believe that, that is the reason for your position in the polls tonight? I mean, I really think it was the first phase of the campaign where we just had well over a thousand conversations with Duluthians about their concerns and then talked about what the tangible practical steps are that the next mayor and administration can take on things like streets, on things like property taxes, on things like the condition of downtown Duluth. You know, and as we move forward, that's exactly what we'll continue to talk about. What Duluthians want is city government to do city things. And so, so far it looks like it's going to be you and current Mayor Emily Larson right. heading to the November elections. Tell me, do you plan on changing your campaign strategy at all? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, again, we've talked about five big issues and the, and the practical steps the next mayor and administration can take. We'll continue to do that. You know, the other thing we'll continue to do is just really focus on our own campaign. I'm not interested in being negative about any other candidate or be a tacky about any other uh, campaign. You know, folks want us to do politics better. They want to have a good conversation about community issues. They want an election that has multiple well-qualified candidates. And we finally have that for the first time in almost 20 years. And I want to really honor that and the nonpartisan nature of the role of mayor. And can you tell me a little bit more about that nonpartisan nature because you decide to not go with any endorsements this round. Can you tell me a little bit about that? You know, local elected office, mayor, city council, it's, it's supposed to be nonpartisan. And I've always been somebody who has worked with a wide spectrum of people from left to center to right. And local government is the best place for you to do that. So a couple things we've not done, we've not sought political party endorsements. We've also not asked for individual endorsements, and we won't do that. You know, what we want is to be Duluth endorsed at the end of this. All right, Roger Reiner, thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. 
people here are going to continue watching the results come in. Until then, Dan, we're tossing it back to you in the studio. All right, yeah, with 97% of precincts reporting once again, Roger Ryder with 62% of the vote tonight. Uh, incumbent Mayor Emily Larson, 35% of that vote. Uh, to help us bring